Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Capricorn. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Family, let's take let's take a look at this person that's keeping a special eye on you, family. If you know who this is, could possibly be an air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Please feel free to drop this person's sign below. Hit the like button. Subscribe for daily Capricorn readings. And be sure to let me know where you're watching from. Capricorn, the only thing that I ask for you to do on this channel and my second one is, of course, like and subscribe. But mainly, use your common sense. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, two of cups, little water, seven, seven of pentacles. So three. we'll get there. Okay, the three of water, two of water, three of water, seven of pentacles, the seven of fire, seven, seven. Shout out to the people born in the 70s that are tapped in, especially the year 77. The Queen of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, ooh, Scorpio, Taurus with judgment and flavor, flavor <laughs> with the Page of Cups here, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn, Capricorn, who is this person from your past? When I think of the two of cups, I think a lover, romantic partner. But this could be somebody who was just in love with you, a friend as well. I almost want to say specifically somebody you've known for seven years or was born in July. Born in July or February. Let me be very specific with that. But this past person used to be buddied up or booed up with. This person is wanting to reconnect. Is wanting to reconnect. Um, for someone, this person does mu does music. or is in front of other. This is specifically, this is somebody who's very popular, well-known. Again, it gives me the energy of music, but that's very obvious. This is somebody who likes to be around people. Socially well-known, very, very out there. I also feel like somebody who likes the nightlife, likes to party. I feel like go out and dance. Music, dancing, a high energy, a high energy nighttime type of person. February, July birthday, though it could be anybody, right? We see seven, seven repeating here. This person is wanting to reconcile, wanting to apologize. Wanting to apologize. For some of you, this person lives at a distance from you. There's been a lot of emotional distance between you and this person. That could be the reason why they're spying, keeping tabs on you as well. Because for some of you, <laughs> Capricorn, getting real close because it's ridiculous that I'm even having to say this. For someone, you're not, not in no communication with this person. Why are they catfishing you? Why? And you know exactly who I'm talking about. And not only that, this is somebody playing games, catfishing, or trying, again, catfishing, trying to catch somebody up and using others. This is somebody who cannot let go. Cannot let go.
if you have blocked this person, that's unacceptable. Who, who are you to disconnect from this individual? Um, also, if you've pulled away from this person, they think it's a game. They think it's a game or you're not, like you're not serious about this boundary or this ending. And I repeat, the, the catfishing, the hiding behind other people to get information or to catch you up in something. It, it, it's really so that they can get themselves another chance. I Which is weird, like if they embarrass you, you'll want to entertain them again. Oh, well, I, then I then I guess they'll just be forced to see. And another seven. And another one. Cancer energy with the chariot. Who's this person born on July 7th? Cancer, Leo, individual, even. Yeah. Mm. This person, and this is where things are getting ready to take a real turn, Capricorn. This person is watching you because they indeed are untrustworthy. So there has been a temperature shift in your relationship situation between you and this individual or the fact that there has been a boundary and somebody has held on to that boundary and somebody had I, i'm assuming thought they knew you better than you knew you and went around telling other people you would be back you would be back i've been, you know i've been breadcrumb and capricorn they always come back to me cuz it's giving hansel and gretel Right, with the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Um, they're not going anywhere. But the same person that said that you weren't going anywhere because they could give you breadcrumbs, they were just so great. I mean, if they could give you breadcrumbs, apparently you couldn't do any better than them, Capricorn. Lord. Oof. Yuck. And this energy of somebody who travels could even drive a Taurus when I see these bulls here and even the judgment could live in Chicago. Love my bulls. But uh, somebody on some BS. This is somebody who thought that they can come and go or feels like they can just play games. They're trying to catch you up because... <laughs> They are assuming that you guys are cut from the same cloth. Yuck. That, excuse my, my pause there. That was just really... Like they want to reconnect with you. And because it's not easy... They're either trying to force you into a face-to-face -face or meeting up with them, or they're going out of their way to try to collect evidence or show you other people around them that see Capricorn's not quite who they say that they are, or see, you know, I, I know them. They do X, Y, and Z. And while this typically is not a card that symbolizes somebody, you know, going back and forth and being inconsistent here, this to me is giving the inconsistent vibes. And I always think of Capricorn men when I, when I see this card in this deck. Shout out to the Capricorn men. And that's because, because I know somebody's wondering why. The Queen of Wands always, or not always, typically has a rabbit somewhere in the card. That's why. And we see a, ra a man on a rabbit here. That is why. Um, but it speaks to somebody who's, I feel like flip-flopping. They're, they're in and out, all over the place, erratic, impulsive. 
I also feel like it may be somebody that has a lot of children spreading their seed all over. That could be why this person doesn't trust people to be faithful or is trying to catfish people. Ooh. Ooh. When I say that somebody is working overtime to try to expose somebody for what they're doing in their free time. And when I say expose, I don't even mean to really expose it to these third parties. I feel like this is just somebody who lacks emotional control, so they're just crying to anybody who will listen. Um, I really feel like this is somebody watching, spying, keeping tabs on you. I feel, And they're really hurting their own feelings. I really feel like they're, they're hurting their own feelings. Like they're looking to see what's wrong with you. And because things are going well for you, Capricorn, that has been consistent in all of the readings. Things are going well, lots of abundance, new relationships coming in even. Especially if you have children with this person. As we see someone with child with this queen of wands and you've cut them off and decided to move on. This is an eye-opening moment for somebody that somebody's actually holding their boundaries. A situation is over and over all of these sevens due to somebody being untrustworthy. Somebody hiding under a cloak here. This, per this person, this monkey here wearing a mask, two-faced, right? We see this person here hiding behind you know, a, a, a ghost profile, right? Somebody's holding on to something that is gone, dead, deceased. They're refusing to let it rest in peace. 915. When I say somebody is working hard, looking to gather evidence to hurt their own feelings. Because what they're looking up in an effort to show, show other people, these, these few people around and their little friends, family, the little minions, the peanut gallery. All they're really doing is hurting their own feelings. This is them on this rock. Sad. Don't know what to do. Thirsty, look of, yeah, the fact that you have moved on. Mm, mm, mm. You were supposed to be struggling. You were supposed to not be able to sleep, not be able to eat, listening to sad songs. Mm, mm, mm. When I tell you that this person, <laughs> this person was 100% expecting you to chase them, to chase them, run after them, try to fix a situation that was broken by trust, somebody breaching trust. This person was delusional. Why would they think that you would chase them if they're the one that's untrustworthy? Let me... Oh, I did. Hold on. I'm about to use this deck right here. Because I haven't used... I haven't used either one of these in a long time. What's this seven? Of... You see? The sevens. Haven't touched this deck in months. Be for real. 
Now, I don't want to say it's a third party situation. And again, shout out to the Capricorn born on the seventh or in the year 77. But the repeating seven in this Queen of Wands and the reverse, don't, don't tell me somebody was entertaining third parties and that's why there was the reason for the breakup. Or again, somebody's untrustworthy having other people in your business. Mm -mm -mm. What is the seven of actually the seven of swords? And we see somebody being two faced here, Just, right? Two faced, thirsty. I, I didn't want to start the beginning of this reading here. That seven is saying what I'm feeling, but there is someone tapped in because somebody who was attempting to talk to someone's man, woman, is still wanting to remain close to you. Still wanting to remain close to you, friends. I, I repeat... Who was this person trying to make moves on your person? Or again, trying to involve you in a third party situation, sweeping it under the rug, acting like, and not only that, not, not just acting like they weren't attracted to somebody, but that they were disgusted by this person saying negative things. Telling you to go against your gut feeling about a situation. You can never trust a person like that to go that tells you to go against your gut feeling. Dangerous. Dangerous. Yes. Watching from a distance. The fake profiles. Just the idea, yeah, disgusting. Just the idea that somebody was that, again, that crazy. And really, it was an ego thing. The, whether it was to boost their own ego or it was to, I feel like, why do I feel like it was less to boost somebody's ego but to humble you? I feel like, Somebody want it's the it's the taunting and the teasing the lions. Remember at the beginning of the reading, the lion. Oh, here it is hiding. Trying to set somebody up, doing something behind somebody's back, and guilty as a mf. Mm, mm, mm. And. For the person that has somebody around your man or woman and they tried to snake them, the, a leopard never changes his spots. This is somebody who has a pattern of doing this. Somebody's been a hoe, Capricorn, and you knew it. You were sleeping on them. Yeah. S sleeping on this person. Notice how this person wants what you have. Yikes. Drop this person's sign down below. It's the watching for me. Leo Sagittarius. Misery loves company. That seven again. Mm -hmm. Somebody's insecurities have gotten the best of them. And again, the mentality that if they were going to do it to you before you did it to them, disgusting. They know you ain't like that. Are you? <laughs> See, that was the thing. This person is competing with you. Yeah. But they, but it's like the, but they couldn't compete because that's why they're, you know, doing this. Or they, they couldn't offer you what they said that they um, could offer you. Only crumbs in comparison. 
So, you know, it really, it really was about humbling you. And now that you rejected them, now, you know, the investigation's intensity has increased. And the fact that you just moved on and even found, and for those of you that have found somebody else, found somebody else, it feels like an absolute betrayal to this person. Like this is somebody who feels like they are entitled to your forgiveness. They are entitled to your energy, to your care. You are supposed to forgive them. You're supposed to give them another opportunity. Ooh, this is some gross stuff. Yeah. They are entitled to another opportunity here. You know, the last straw isn't the last straw. You're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to take more. See, you're supposed to be the mature party, Capricorn. I feel like, and I'm going to say this, I feel like somebody has tried to humbly apologize and come forward. And when you accepted the apology, had the strength and the courage to hear them out and accept the apology, but that didn't necessarily mean that they could eat with you, sit at the same table with you. This lizard here, giving me the serpent vibes. Once bitten, twice shy, the relationship is over. The, you holding on to a boundary, earth shattering. Earth shattering. To somebody who, again, is very immature in their mind, foolish with the fool. Yeah, foolish, immature. Yeah. They're expecting to have... Opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. Like an unlimited amount of chances. You moving on. I mean, finishing the book, starting a new one and on chapter five, it was not supposed to end like that. This is somebody who is, again, they are entitled to your forgiveness. They're entitled to be in your life. They're also entitled to having their cake and eating it too. I really feel like this is a person to be very specific. Needed the in, needed the attention of multiple people. Very immature, extremely emotional, highly untrustworthy. As we see that you know, doing things behind somebody's back, the insecurity issues have gotten the best of somebody. Yeah. Catching somebody being this sneaky and deceptive where there's smoke, there's fire. Because here's the thing, it's, it, and I did a reading on that, it's, it's deeper than that. I think that, oh, that's the title, check the playlist. The, the, the deception went deeper than just messing with your person, messing with your family, messing with your business, your job. This is somebody being, you know, low down. And to me, we're like praying on somebody's downfall. Yeah, yeah, this person working hard to make you look bad and working equally as hard to get back in your life. This person is unstable. Is this somebody's mother? And we've seen a lot of that. There, uh, women showing up unstable, unfortunately. Y yeah. Ooh. Cannot take it. When I say somebody expected you to be there for them, whether you are a male or a female, and work it out, regardless of whether they were cooperating with you or not, and clearly you weren't married. We don't even see marriage coming up here. And I really feel like somebody, when you let their, when you let your guard down, tried to do you dirty. Mm. Tried to do you dirty. And that's that's why you have to put these walls up. Yeah. Somebody is somebody is a threat to your to your peace and your safety. Like your mental 
spiritual peace and safety. That's what I mean. I mean, less like actual dangerous, dangerous. This person seems very cowardly, quite frankly. But I feel this energy of the fact that you just kind of wish them well, that there was a peaceful ending when somebody needed some, when somebody needed drama. I'm telling you this peaceful ending when somebody really wanted drama. Is not what they were expecting. Somebody either somebody either needs the head to head or they feel entitled, right, to having the closure conversation. But I feel like this person is so unstable. Or you've seen so much, you can't have a conversation with this person because it's not really a, a one on one. It's a it's a one on three or twenty or their whole background crew. But some, but somebody has absolutely been dismissed out of your life and they do not know how to take it. Their immaturity will not let them go. It's like they need to put you in between a rock and a hard place either to get you to pick up the call and give them another chance or to show people like, look, see, I've exposed Capricorn. The problem is, is they're not finding anything. They're not finding anything and they're looking foolish. You're out here, Capricorn, and this is getting long. You're out here, Capricorn, proving somebody wrong by just minding your own business and doing your own. I'm telling you, somebody looks stupid. Stupid as an MF right now. Their egos hurt. See, you, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Aries. Being in control, somebody's pride and ego then got the best of them. And now that they see you moved on, now that you've cut off access, a coward, I repeat, a coward's keeping an eye on you. And the fact that things are not going the way that they thought that it would, as planned, because they were, you know, had everything in, under control. Capricorn, somebody's having an emotional breakdown. Family. Drop this person's sign down below. Please hit the like button. Subscribe for daily Capricorn readings. Let me know what resonated for you. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.